Hello everybody, Pilot83 here, going to do a tutorial video with y'all, a little helpful video with the FMC and how to set up flight plans in the C-160 Transal by Azure Poly. This plane just got a update with the FMC, was changed a little bit, plus you can now drop down troops and vehicles, such a great plane for the price, it has a HUD now, but uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So we get into the plane, I'll show you how you can set up a flight plan from within this bad boy. And I'll show y'all a little bug that I found. So if y'all encounter it, something a little neat. Okay, so just come right on down here. And uh, first we'll start with a real easy flight plan. And then I'll show you how you can do some waypoint changes and stuff. So starting off, we're on our first page here, which is the init page. So this here could be our flight number. So right here we have all our keys, if y'all weren't aware. So if you want... A certain letter from this key after you push the key you then hit the dot of what that letter would coordinate to so let's say if I wanted this flight to be pilot a six will show up and then I'll hit that and let's just say zero zero eight three okay enter all right go down so Right now, I'm at Pensacola Airport. So we're going to go down here to K. So 4 will show up. Go to the middle one. Boom. P. That's that. And then let's go to N. And then S. Alright. We now have our departing airport. Now let's keep moving along. We won't need to do the forward slash. It's already there. So let's say that I'm going to Tampa. So K, T, P, A. Boom. Now we'll hit enter. It will populate this field. Okay. Show you the coordinates of where we're at. The date for me right here is wrong, but that's okay. Oh, actually, no. It's actually correct today. It was wrong the other day. Huh. It fixed itself. It's got the uh, the time. That time is actually correct for me right now as well. Interesting. Okay, so from there, do a few things. We got our flight plan, which not much there at the moment, but we'll get to that. We have our direct to change, and I'll show you what those do. So if you ever get lost, just click the any, and there's any one and two. So the second page for in it, it is our our operating uh, empty weight, fuel weight, load weight, gross weight, all those good things. Q and H, V and O, ground saturation flaps, and I'll show you how to set that up as well. Okay, but let's get back to doing our flight plan. Okay, and I'll show you the little bug that I found. So you have this EXP button. So this is the expand button. So this will open more pages in certain categories. So we would hit expand on Pensacola. Show the ident, the elevation, the max runaway length, the runaway, and the SID. Okay, now here is the bug. And if Azure Poly, if y'all watch this, hopefully y'all can fix this, unless someone found a way around this, which I currently have not. So before you could choose a runaway, you have to choose your SID. But here's the thing. Pensacola does not have a SID. It doesn't have one in real life as well. You will take off, fly a vector to your first waypoint. So when you hit expand, there's nothing there. So you're kind of stuck. And then you hit RTN to go back because you can't do anything. But if your airport does have a SID, you would hit expand on SID. You would choose the SID that you want to do. And then from that point there, you would go back up to runway and you would hit expand on runway and it would open up and show you the runways you could choose from. Now I'll show you that in action with our arrival so go back so you see Tampa right here key TPA and to show you the time that you're going to arrive that's not amount of time to get there that's the time that you're estimated to arrive so I'd go down to it expand 
come down so here star hit expand on star and now we have some options now there will need to be an update because there's not much you could choose from from within the FMC you can put uh, new ones in that are not there and the waypoints which I'll get to but at the moment you only get just a few options so let's say I want to do Maddie 4 click it it shows up there now we'll go down to runway hit expand now we could choose runways so I would choose say runway 01 left I know this route pretty well just hit enter on that and now that is set up now let me show you something. Come over here. Move this down into map mode. Okay, and then let's change the range of this. Let's say 300 miles. Okay. Bring up my VFR real fast. And I'm going to show you something here as well. So you're looking at this flight plan. This flight plan that it made for me doesn't make sense because we're going way up here to a quarry, then Cablo, and then to Throttle, to Heaven, to Legate, Gojo, all the way down until we hit Tampa. I don't know any plane that takes a route that way from Pensacola. They all come down here. Well, we can change this and fix this. And let me show you how we can do that. So from this page here, we can go back okay and now we have waypoints now if we could put a sit in at this airport then we would have that as our first waypoint and the runway and all that in the airport but since we don't it's just showing that as we go down you'll see we keep going all the way down <coughs> until we hit Tampa okay but let me show you how you can put waypoints in here. Remove waypoints and clean this up. So, go down to a waypoint. So let's say Corey. Click the CHG change. Now you have some options. Insert before a Corey, change a Corey to, or just simply delete a Corey. So this is what we're going to do in this we're going to we're going to change some and delete some because I'm going to be departing runway 17 so I'm going to go down to change a quarry 2 and then I'm going to put a waypoint that I know that this flight plan goes on and if you're wondering how I'm getting this it's off a of sim brief Now I'm going to show you this correcting itself. Okay, so I'm going to enter it here. And it's going to ask you, do you want to confirm? Go and confirm. All right, so you see that? Flight plan just changed, which is good. Okay, now let's say Cablo. Cablo, Cablo is the big one that we need to get rid of. So same thing. Go to change. Change Cablo to. And Cablo, I'm trying to remember, it'd be FIPS, be the correct one we should take. Whoa, no, no, no. FIPS. This is a little, uh, a little annoying how you got to do this, but hey, it works. So FIPS, I'm enter that there. Now watch Cablo. Boom, we just fixed that. Okay, then from there, throttle doesn't need to be there. We can go from FIPS to Heaven. And right now, like I said, this could be different for everybody. I'm just showing you how you can edit this or change your flight plan and how you could add waypoints in between your from and to. Now you could just do a direct to if you wanted to, that's fine. If you, you just leave it the way it is, it works that way as well. But you might get some weird stuff like what I'm having in this flight plan right here. So delete throttle. 
boom now look at that see that makes sense it brings us all the way on in to Tampa come on in come around for our approach and there you go and now we have a flight plan a legit flight plan at that we can go from all right and we got basically our vector right here though we can't choose the runway and uh, we can click flight plan actually that's where you'll see all that at see the amount of fuel you're going it's called uh, you're going to consume to get there and all that how far you are away from your next waypoint and so forth all right so go back to the init page okay now let's click in it again all right so let's go over setting this up pretty easy to do there is one thing that kind of bothers me is how you can't change this from tons to kilograms because okay so we're going to go off of let's say the tablet to our fuel okay so we're gonna go off our tablet here so you got fuel weight payload weight and the total weight and as you see it's in kilograms and I have not found any way to change that so you're gonna have to use a calculator so right now fuel weight you're basically gonna round it up so let's just say 11.4 or 11 400 so I'm gonna go down one and this will calculate the total gross weight for us So in my case, do 11,400 kilograms, and that would translate into 12.56 tons. So I do one, two, five, six. And then your load weight, payload weight, which this plate, is, I got nothing on it right now, it's just 77 kilograms so I mean that's gonna be like well, that's gonna be like 100 either way so that's that's not a big deal for this I'm just gonna here make it a little more realistic for y'all let's add a tank okay and let's add uh, a VBL one as well there we go so three seven five one four point one three so so I'm just going to do zero oh there it goes okay so there we go now our our operating empty weight so this is the sum of of the empty weight and the crew plus their baggage okay yeah so did a little research here real fast so it means everything so the plane empty so from that so we're say we're at 45 we're up to four so 15 so 30 so once again we're going to go to our calculator and 3301 so just the plane as it is Okay, that looks correct boom and there you go all right so you can set your q and h and everything it automatically sets that for you though you gotta do that set, set the wheel automatically for you set it's got the temperature outside for you your flap so you could change this so if we wanted to take off let me say let's go to our flaps let's say we want to do right now we're at say 20 so let's say we want to do flaps 20 we can just click that change that all right system doesn't work at the moment performance doesn't work 
And that page will go back to any. Yeah, so hopefully it gets more updates in it. But yeah, that's that's how you make a flight plan. Tactical doesn't do anything. But uh, that's how you do it, guys. And like I said, you'll see your flight plan down here. You can change it all and everything. But uh, that's simple. Very easy to follow. I will give you a little hint, though, by the way. If you have in the Garmin installed up here, uninstall it from your tablet, the, the uh, GNS430, because it can cause the flight plan to mess up or have interference according to the manual by Azure Poly. But anyway, guys, yeah, I hope that's really helpful on making a flight plan. I hope that showed you. I mean, it's really simple in this plane, but I thought I'd make this video for y'all and, and help y'all. Much love to everybody here. Thank y'all guys for all your love and support of me and the whole entire Bunker Squadron team. Hope that you all have a happy Thanksgiving if I don't see y'all before then. Pretty sure I will. Good night, everybody. Peace.